Is your steering box giving you issues and it's time to replace it? Well, Borgeson's got the fix for you. This is Borgerson's Quick Ratio Steering Box for your Classic C10. It'll go from 68 to 86. It has a 12.7 to 1 ratio, which is a lot quicker than the stock steering box. It'll bolt in place of the Saginaw or Delphi pump. It comes with these adapters for your flare fittings or your O-ring fittings. So let me show you how to install this steering box on our Classic C10. Okay everyone, I have the truck on the lift. You actually don't need to do this. You can do this on jack and jack stands on the ground. We actually have the wheel off also, so I can show you step by step how to remove this steering box and get the new one in. So let's get started. All right guys, before I take this off, I wanted to show you. You see, we have a lot of slop in the steering box. Yes, I could probably adjust it, tighten those bands up, but this is an original box. It's time to replace it. And you can see all the seals are blown. So let's get these lines off and start getting this rag joint off. Before loosening these lines, have a drain buck under it. For the front line, it's a 5 8 The back line is 11 16 To remove the rag joint, there's one 7 16 bolt. Take that out and we'll take a hammer and slightly tap the shaft back up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a hammer, tap on the shaft here to slide it back up. All right, so I'm gonna remove this brace so it gives us more room to remove the box. The three-quarter socket and wrench. I'm removing the whole brace just to get it out of the way. Before removing the four bolts on the steering box, we actually have to remove our pitman arm. So get this nut off and then go to the auto parts store or your local auto shop and pick up a pitman arm puller. I'll show you once we get it on there and let's get this removed. All right, now that we got the pitman arm off, the last thing we have to do is get the four 5-8 socket bolts off and then we can remove the box. You can access the bolts from inside the frame rail. On the road again. I just wanna be on the road again. Ooh. This one. Oh, oh no! Oh. Once you have all the bolts out, just wiggle it out from the pitman arm and the steering shaft. Before we install our new steering box, I'm actually going to clean up the frame, get rid of all this grease and dirt, and then put some paint on there so it's nice and clean under the steering box. All right, grab your box, slide it in back into place. Hey guys, it's been a few days now. As you can see, my beer's changed a little bit. One of the things that you need to watch out for on the steering box is it comes with a three-quarter input shaft. Some of the trucks are different, so you might have to change out your joint to what your particular truck has. Our original joint with the 1316s, we're changing out to the Borgeson three-quarter. All you have to do is remove these two half-inch bolts. Grab a half-inch wrench and a half-inch socket. Grab the new one, slide it into place, put the bracket on, slide your bolts back in. So the new joint actually comes with new bolts, but I actually like the original ones that have a shoulder, 
so it slides in the rubber joint and doesn't tear it up. Once you have the bolts in, tighten them down. Grab a 5-32nd Allen key, tighten up the set screw. Don't go crazy tight with it because the jam nut will help with that. And then tighten down the jam nut with a half inch socket. Grab the original steering box bolts and reinstall them. Once the box is tightened down, install your pitman arm nut. Sometimes you actually have to tighten down the pitman arm before you can install the lock washer. Once you have it in place, loosen the nut. Put the washer and nut back on and then torque it down. <clears throat> Okay, that's in place. The last thing we have to do on our steering box is install our lines and add fluid. Before installing our lines, if you're using the factory line, you have to use these adapters to help seat it to the fitting. If you're not using these factory lines and using an AN line, you do not have to use these adapters. The big line goes to the back side of the pump and the little line to the front. When putting the adapters in, all you do is you drop them in and seat them onto the fitting. All right, once you tighten down your lines, add the fluid, then your installation is complete. The biggest advantage about this steering box, you go from a stock box that takes forever to turn to this box with a quick ratio with no effort. <laughs>